Hi, in this video, we will discuss the rest of the free features of the U-Listing plugin. If you missed the two previous tutorials, you can find the links to them in the description below. Okay, let's start with the preview item. So this is how our listing preview looks like, but actually all of these elements are custom and can be changed. The preview item feature gives us an opportunity to manage the design of listings. Preview item settings are located on the listing types main menu right under the listing order. Here, we can switch between view types and create a unique preview for all view types separately. As you can see, preview items are divided into blocks. For instance, this one has two main blocks. First one contains some basic info of the listing in front of image, and second block has info about the listed property. We can add and delete fields simply by dragging them here. Please make sure you only add the custom fields to the preview item that is being used in the active single page layout of the listing type you are creating or editing. Otherwise, it will not be displayed. We will learn about single page later in this video. Also, you can see a config button. This is the feature to change the template and size of the preview item. If you noticed, here on the right bottom of the listing preview, a small eye icon is placed. If you press this icon, a quick view will appear. And that is the next great feature of the U-Listing plugin. If you want a quick view to be available on the listing preview, you will need to add a quick view field on the preview item settings. Now, let's check the quick view settings. It is the second option from the bottom on the listing types menu. The great thing about quick view settings is this small preview. So if I drag and drop fields from here to the used fields column, I will actually see how my quick view will look. That is amazing. Next is single page settings. This is the place where you can set up the view of a single listing page. By default, we have seven pre-built single item templates. We can use any of these or create a new template. A single page builder will open if you press create new or edit template. Here, we can build a good-looking, rich single page to showcase amenities such as an image gallery, description, documents, floor plans, and other facilities via dragging support fields to the building page. The structure of Single Page Builder is the same as other features that we already have learned, so it will not be of any difficulty to create your own single page or edit an existing template. Okay, we've just learned how to edit a single listing page, but now let's see how agents can actually add their listings. It all starts by pressing the Add Listing button. First, we will need to choose a listing type. Now, in the second step, we see a Submit Form. Here, users will need to fill in all the necessary information about the property they want to list. Submit Form can also be easily configured. We can change the requirement fields, their size, and position. Listings can also be added by admin in the admin panel. Just click Listings, Add New. Here you only need to choose the listing type, fill all the necessary fields, and press Publish. Listings can be divided by categories, for example, Buy and Rent. To add new, edit or delete listing category, proceed to Listings, Categories. Here on the left, we can see a form to add categories, and on the right are all the existing categories. To make it easier to navigate through listings, we can also filter them by regions. Regions settings are also located in the listing section on the main menu. As you can see, region settings are the same as categories. Now, let's proceed to the U-Listings main settings. U-Listing settings are divided into several sectors, first of which is the main settings. Here, for instance, we can set up a map. In Select Map Service, you can choose one of three available map services. The chosen by default is Google Maps. But Google Maps is a paid service, so that's why we have added free and open source map services like OpenStreetMap. In order to set up the map and make it work properly, please carefully read the documentation. You will find the links to map settings documentation in the description below. On the pages, we have the page generator option that allows to create and arrange the necessary pages in case when some needed page was accidentally removed. Here, we also can manually choose default pages for different features. User roles allows us to create different user roles and to attach a different amount of available listings to each of them. 
By default, uListing contains two user roles, that being user and agent. To make agent role available, switch this toggle. More user roles can be added with the user roles add-on. You can purchase the pro features bundle on our website, stylemixthemes.com. I will leave a link in the descriptions below. Next in uListing settings is the payment module. Here we can integrate our website with one of two or both of the most popular payment methods, PayPal and Skrill. In the email settings, we can set up the automatic email notification. It can be useful for users to be informed about any status changes, payments, etc. Here we have the list of available email messages for different events. Click the Manage button and start to work on your selected notification message. Finally, the last free feature we will learn is Pricing Plans. We can choose a plan type. Limit Count is the plan with the X number of listings attached to it. So we can decide to make it 10 listings available with this plan, and let's say it will cost $20. I can also choose how long this plan will be available. 10 days, 1 month, 1 year, or whatever I want. The second plan type is Feature Plan. It basically has the same settings, but instead of listing limit, we will decide on feature limit. So this plan allows us to choose how many featured listings the user will have. Featured listings are the ones located on the top of others. In order for agents to know their available plans, they will need to proceed to My Plans, and here they will see all their plans. They can also see details, and plan type will also be mentioned here. Now that is a one-time payment plans option. Ulisting also contains subscription-based plans, but that is a part of Ulisting Pro. And that we will learn in the next tutorial. Hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Leave your comments if you have any questions. See you in the next video.